Now, emotions ran high at Kenyatta University grounds on Friday evening as students warned 11 departed colleagues who perished in a tragic road accident on Monday. The students and the Kenyatta University community held a candle-lit vigil to remember them. The 11 students were among a group of 58 others heading to Mombasa for an academic trip before their school bus collided with a truck. Ben Kirui reports. In a solemn candle light vigil, students, faculty, and staff of the Kenyatta University united in mourning, remembering the lives of the 11 students who died in a tragic road accident at Maungu area near Voi town on Monday evening. With their hearts heavy with sorrow, the Kenyatta University students illuminated the night with candles as they held the portraits of their departed colleagues. United in grief, they reflected on the tragic event that forced the university to hold its academic activities for three days. But despite the grief that gripped every member of the university, the students led by Kenyatta University Students Association President Sarova Bonaya shared a message of hope and resilience, believing in their collective strength to navigate through this difficult period. I believe my support and the support of your leaders we shall continue healing through this process. It takes effort, it takes God's guidance, it takes a strong heart for you to get to heal from this process. These sentiments were echoed by the University Executive Dean School of Pure and Applied Sciences, Professor Michael Gisharu, who shared how the incident left the university in a state of shock. This information came to us on Monday. I was actually acting as Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic, and the information came on Monday evening, almost around 8 o'clock, and it was very, very difficult for us. Earlier on Friday, the students congregated to pay their last respects to their departed souls. The 11 were part of 58 other students who were on their way to Mombasa on an academic excursion when their school bus collided with a truck. 18 other students who survived are recuperating at a Nairobi hospital with the two of them in critical condition. The Kenyatta University Fraternity will on Sunday hold a memorial service for the 11 students. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, Nairobi.